Thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, I think I say this every year, but this is one of uh, my favorite days of the year when you can add, in this case, four members to our already great Bison family. Just, you know, really fortunate, really pleased, and really looking forward to the future. Well, I want to take a minute. Uh, our staff is here to thank them, uh, to thank our players. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into the recruiting process, and, um, you know, it's certainly not a one-man show, and, and the effort that our guys and our staff bring to it makes a really enjoyable process for us to get to know these young men and their families. Um, I've never really wanted to make this, you know, about me. It's never about me. But it's really, really cool for me to sit here today as a North Dakota kid and, and introduce, in particular, three North Dakota guys to our program. And, and let me be loud and clear when I say it like this. They weren't recruited because they were from North Dakota. They are recruited with an expectation and a standard to come in here and continue to compete for, compete for championships. That being said, I, they just happen to be from North Dakota. And, and really, really cool for me, really, really cool for them and their families to see this. And I've been here through the transition, for the Division II days, to the Division I, and I think early on in the process, that was a big narrative, that there wasn't going to be kids in the local area, uh, you know, that were going to be able to have success here. And you're, you're seeing that on all stages and high levels of success, from Dexter Warner to A.J. Jacobson, you know, to Carson Wentz, and the list goes on and on and on. North Dakota kids, you know, not only coming to school at North Dakota State, but thriving here. And we're very, very fortunate, uh, along with Donald, to, to you know, welcome uh, three new North Dakotans, three new Bison to our, to our Bison family, along with their families. Uh, Bowden Skunberg, um, you know, Bowden sticks out just from a standpoint. We, we identified Bowden real early in the process. And, and I think the biggest thing is it was almost a year ago that Bowden committed to us. You know, Bowden wanted to be at North Dakota State. He always has. The young man ble bleeds green and gold. Um, he's competitive, really competitive. He takes the team. You know, he's a part of a good team, you know, but one of the lead guys on an undefeated state championship team last year. Some have all kinds of success on big stages, you know, in the grassroots, um, on the grassroots level, and just really a competitor. Um, probably the most thing, that, one of the things that stuck out the most for me uh, was this summer when he came to our camp. And he could have came in here cool. He could have came in here entitled. Um, because he already had he already had the offer. He was already committed, and he didn't. He didn't back down from any competition. He was diving on the floor. Uh, Bowden Scumberg's got a bright future at North Dakota State. Uh, Grant Nelson from Devil's Lake. Uh, Grant, he just brings a smile to your face. You know, a young man that, again, if I'm, I'm being honest, four or five months ago, I had no clue who he was. And, and started in about um, April, we started to hear a little bit of rumblings and, and then saw him again in the summer. And then when he came to camp, it was a no-brainer right away. Six nine, uh, moves, handles it like a, like a perimeter player. I, I think Grant's biggest quality is he has no idea how good he's going to be. Uh, the young man plays basketball constantly. Uh, you go back to that same camp Bowden was at. He was the same player Sunday night as he was Tuesday afternoon, just competing, running up and down the floor. And um, his best basketball is ahead of him. And just really, really excited to be a part of that to witness, you know, Grant's growth and development both on and off the court. Uh, Grayson Hammond from, from Davies. Uh, Grayson's a, a young man that I think his best basketball, again, is ahead of him. He's got good size, good athlete, really competitive. Uh, you know, last year he was hampered by an injury, but, but again, comes from a great program, Coach Manson's program in Davies High School, and, and really excited to add another Fargo kid to the roster. And then, and then Donald, Donald Carter, um, a young man that, that, that the process is pretty new from, from a standpoint of we've been out to see him a couple times in Phoenix. Uh, he was here this past weekend on his visit, uh, but fits a very big need for us. Make no mistake about it, that point guard position. Uh, but, but there's also needs, and then there's the, the priority that I always emphasize, and that's the culture piece. And we were very diligent in the process with Donald, making sure that he's going to check the boxes that are important to us on and off the court. Donald originally hails from the Twin Cities area, uh, actually played AAU grassroots basketball with Biggs, Odell Wilson, up until uh, eighth, ninth grade before he moved to Phoenix, and he's there. And I think, again, um, Donald's come from a bunch of adversity. And as I go through and what's important to us, certainly you need a talent, uh, a talent level to be successful, but you have to be tough. And you have to be able to handle adverse situations. Let's face it, that's what college athletics is going to present you. And, and Donald's been through a bunch of adversity, and he's a winner. You look at his high school program, uh, Scottsdale Community College, had never had a, a winning season. I shouldn't say never, but they hadn't been very successful. Last year is his first year there. Uh, you know, they win 20 games. This year they've already beat a, a perennial junior college team. And just a young man that you just want to be around. Um, a very, very good player, a winner, makes big plays and big times. 
but just a guy that's going to continue to make us a stronger program and a stronger culture. I'd be happy to take any other questions. Uh, getting three North Dakota guys, what, is that saying the level of basketball is getting better in the state, or this just these three guys stood out in this particular class? No, I, I think there's there, as a whole, Dom, I, I would definitely agree that the level of basketball in the area and in the state's getting better. You know, it used to be maybe, you know, we felt like one every other year or something like that. And for us to get two in the same year and, and three with Grayson uh, is really unique and special. I think that's a credit to. Um, I, I even look at a former Bison, Tom Wilbershide, and, and what you know what he did at FBA, FBA getting that going. Um, Lucas Mormon and, and Ben Woodside and their camps. Lucas is you know what he's doing with the ECI program and those things. Um, it's it's really cool to see. And these kids are buying in and, and they're putting in the time and effort. And and that's what I want to say loud and clear as a North Dakota kid. It's really cool that we're able to do that. I remember the, the Tuesday afternoon that Jaden and I left, you go up to Devil's Lake, you go straight south, you see Bowden and you're home all within a nine or 10 hour period. That, that doesn't happen. Usually it's you know three hours minimum to the Twin Cities, see a game and then back and maybe you see one kid. Um, but yeah, no, that's a credit to a lot of people, but more importantly, the kids and in, in, in investing in, in, in something that means a lot to them. Grant came out of basically nowhere. What, what stood out, I guess, when you watched Maybe even his tape to say this is a kid we've got to get on. Um, yeah, again, I'm an honest guy. Full disclosure, at that at that specific position, it wasn't necessarily a need for for us. But when you walk in and and you got a kid from again two and a half hours away that's six nine and can move, can handle it like a guard. Um, you know, he was at our team camp and our guys were pulling up the chair to watch him do the things that he's able to do with the basketball. And it's pretty special. And, and, and I think the, the, the special part about it is just Grant's approach. Again, I say this with all due respect, I looked him and his mom in the eye and told him, kid has no idea how good he's going to be. Every time you pick, every time you call him, he's in a gym somewhere. He's got a, a shirt on from some tournament that he was in. He just loves the game. And uh, when, when you're that size and when you have that level of skill and, and that ability to move like he does, Young man's got a bright, bright future. Tucked away back in small town North Dakota that nobody saw him. Yeah, I think there's, there's a fair perception of that, Jeff. But I also, you know, again, I'm not necessarily an analytics numbers guy, but look at his numbers as a sophomore. They weren't overly impressive. You know, and then last year he goes out and gets 16 and 11, and, and I would expect and anticipate those numbers to go up again too. So, um, you know, uh, credit his coaching. Credit, you know, I'm sure he he's grown a lot in the last year and a half, two years. Uh, but but also, like you said, he's just got a basketball in his hand all the time, and he's continued to develop. It's been really fun to see.